Okay guys, so today we are going to make a journey down to the lower shelves of the greenhouse because I'm gonna do an update on my sphagnum moss cultures. So I guess I'll just go in order of acquisition date to the best of my abilities. This moss that you're seeing right here is the first sphagnum species that I ever got. It's bright green in the summer, and this is the one that I used in all of my Nepenthes pots up until I got some other species of sphagnum. Um, believe it or not, this is all like the same stuff. It grows differently depending on humidity and moisture and light level, so you may see some variations. The second moss I got was this, which was originally red. I planted it, it turned green, and now it's turning red again. Uh, it's pretty cool, and it's pretty cool. This is probably the third species of sphagnum that I got. It is supposed to be wine red, and as you can see, it's still adjusting. Uh, it's partially turning reddish purplish, but most of it's still green. Yep. And I have a couple cultures of it. Here's a smaller culture that I started with the scraps from the bigger culture. And here's an even smaller culture of the same stuff, which somehow grew Venus flytraps in it. Um, which I cannot find right now, but they are there. There's like two of them. The fourth, fifth, and sixth species came together, mixed up. You are seeing right now the fifth species that I fourth species that I acquired. I can't count. This right here is the fifth one. It differs slightly. Uh, these have much smaller heads, and as you can see, it mats itself down in the winter for no reason. It wasn't like watered roughly or anything. It just kind of falls over. And in the spring, it comes up nice and fluffy and grows pretty fast. The sixth species is over here. This is my only like pure, almost pure red species, and it just turned red this winter. It's also a thicker species and it's much rougher. This is like, for comparison, this is a smaller, softer species. And here you go, thick, rough one. The seventh species I acquired is this almost pure green species. Over here is the same stuff and as you can see it's turning brown. This is like natural brown, it's not like a dead brown. Because you know, I don't kill things. I'm a nice green person. And um, it also had some red mixed in with it somewhere. I took that out and I started a little culture of it of its own. It only had two strands, so I put it in my Nepenthes Jamban pot. These guys are the next species that I acquired. There's actually three different ones here. These three or so are, no, these four right here are all the same species. And if you go right here, there's a different one. Um, it's very hard to tell because they're all from the same location and they're very, very similar. In the back here, we have a quite a different one. It's more like cushiony. Um, it's not exactly cushion sphagnum. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. Look at that. It kind of looks cushiony. You could call it a cushion sphagnum. It's not exactly super cushion cushion, but it is somewhat cushiony. And down here we have my sphagnum scraps, and this is from the first species that I acquired, the first one I showed you in the video. Um, as you can see, it's growing down here, and it's much lighter in color because it's not getting as much water. Um, when the summer or spring even comes, it will look super, super nice. I'm finding little random things in it. What is that? And right here we have two Sarazenia. These two you see in here dried out completely over the summer. And I put them back in here to see if they would live. I think they're gonna live. They're, you know, yep. And as you can see in the pots all around the greenhouse, there are sphagnums growing. And some of them are the newer species, and some of them are the older species, like you see back here in this pot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see new videos every Friday. Thanks for watching.